Hello everyone, so today I would like to share to you about fighting to get you the compensation you deserve after an offshore work accident. Seamen and offshore workers are at risk every day of suffering a serious injury at work. There are many dangers present while working on offshore vessels such as fires and explosions. Gas leaks, heavy objects falling, and extreme weather conditions. Maritime law serves to protect workers at sea and ensure that in the event of an injury, they are afforded sufficient compensation, including maintenance and cure. Understanding maritime law can often be complex. Many workers are unsure which type of maritime law applies to their injury claim. We have seen many workers accept compensation from their employers that did not adequately cover their injury costs and which they were not able to change at a later date. As such, it is extremely important that you speak with an experienced maritime lawyer as soon as possible if you have been injured offshore. At Abraham Watkins, we have a team of maritime attorneys that can help you at every stage of your case. We know how difficult and stressful it can be to be injured at work and have to worry about paying for all of your costs. Because of this, we want to help you file a claim under the right maritime law to get you compens compensated for your injuries and ensure that your rights are protected. Houston, Gulfston, and Gulf Coast, Texas at Admiralty and Maritime Lawyer. Maritime law, sometimes called Admiralty law, is a set of laws that applies to maritime workers, employers, and people injured. Generally, the laws govern all maritime accidents and events that occur on the high seas, such as oil platform accidents, dredge accidents, and cargo ship accidents. The high seas refer to water beyond the territorial waters of a country or state. Maritime law also applies to territorial water that is within 12 miles of the shore. Maritime law function is one of the oldest sets of laws in the country and as such it experienced constant change. Traditionally, maritime law only applied to accidents and events that occurred on the high seas. However, it now applies to all navigable waters in the United States. Dividing navigable waters under the law can sometimes be confusing and most of the law that we use today is based on previous cases attempting to offer a clearer definition. Currently, navigable water is defined as water that can act as a continued highway over which commerce is or may be carried on with other states or foreign countries. So, if a body of water enables trade or commerce with another state or a foreign country, it is governed by maritime law. Bodies of water that are part of greater navigable waters will also be governed by maritime law even if they do not directly connect to another state or a country. As such, a body of water that is closed off by a larger piece of land or landlocked will be governed by state law rather than federal maritime law. Where are maritime cases heard in Houston, Texas? Texas state maritime law is based entirely on federal laws provided by Article 3, Section 2 of the United States Constitution. As such, the federal courts have jurisdiction over all cases involving personal injury and damage to property on navigable water. The only area that state courts may apply their own discretion is in relation to the compensation process for victims. Although federal law governs all maritime injuries, injured workers and seamen may be entitled to bring maritime claims in state and federal courts in Houston. Injured maritime workers can bring a personal injury claim under the Jones Act in Texas state courts, and offshore oil rig workers can also bring a federal law case to a state court. 
The crossover between state and federal maritime law can be confusing, and often workers are unsure whether they can bring a claim to a Texas state court. One of the maritime lawyers from our law firm can of offer you advice on your injury case and help you bring your case to a state or federal court. Important Maritime Law Acts in Texas Maritime injury cases and property damage cases are dealt with using a series of acts and a general maritime law principle that have been built up over many years. Legal principle governing the right to compensation and medical expenses for an offshore injury and jurisdiction for claims are set out in this act. Longshore and Harbor Workers' Compensation Act The Longshore and Harbor Workers' Compensation Act, LHWCA, serves to compensate many different types of maritime employees. Some examples of workers that can claim under this act include harbor construction workers, longshore workers, dock workers, cargo workers, ship repairs, and the last one is ship builders. In order to make a compensation claim under this act for a maritime injury, the worker must demonstrate that they are a maritime worker and that their injury occurred on navigable waters or adjacent to such waters including docks, piers, etc. The Outer Continental Shelf Lands Act is an extension of the LHWCA. Workers who, have, who are injured on the Outer Continental Shelf of the United States are entitled to make an injury claim under this act. They must show that their work was in relation to exploring and producing natural resources. If you work on an outer continental shelf or reef, you may be entitled to file a maritime injury claim under this act. However, if you are employed by the U.S. government, a foreign government, or a state government, you will be exempt from filing a personal injury claim under the Outer Continental Shelf Lands Act. All that's that occur on the high seas outside of the state's territorial waters are covered under the Death on the High Seas Act. This act provides that family members of workers and passengers who die due to an accident at short cost by wrongful act, neglect, or People occurring on the high seas can be can bring a lawsuit. Family members can only recover compensation for pecuniary losses like financial support and will be unable to recover medical expenses and funeral costs. The study of limitation for bringing claims under this act is three years. So I think that's all from me. Thank you for watching and bye bye.